Shalom. I'm going to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Ochakwadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect, the men that are doing this work in sincerity and truth. And the men, women, and children that are listening, learning, and helping in all sincerity and humility to you all, I say Shalom. Okay, so this is like, uh, I saw like three articles on this, okay, as I was, you know, going through my news section, I saw like three articles on this, one of them might have even popped up on my thing, uh, my feed, but, um, you know, one was in like Hollywood magazine or something like that complex and something else but um this is the one from complex i chose this one it says uh kanye west announces he's running for president this year by joshua espinoza july 5th 2020 and he wrote that july 5th but this happened i guess he made the announcement on july 4th you know with so-called independence day um and I have quite a few scriptures I'm going to get, actually. Probably got a good uh, 10 scriptures came to mind. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. It says, Kanye West marked the 4th of July with a major announcement. He's officially running for the U.S. president in 2020. The 43-year-old shared the news via Twitter on Saturday night, writing, We must now realize the promise of America. We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God unifying our vision and building our future i am running for president of the united states 2020 vision okay so i want to get some scriptures after this and i want to say you know i'm going to speak about this individual and the statement that he just made okay so uh first lock yeah okay so first let's talk about um you know this guy kanye west let's get a scripture um okay because we know recently Kanye West, he was trying to, um, you know, one, first of all, he was one with the world. Let's get that out the way. Uh, let me go to the New Testament. First of all, he was one with the world. Okay. And he was when the, living a hip hop artist lifestyle. Then now he's a, he was a so-called Christian, you know, uh, pumping his music, you know, defeating the people. Okay, um, then uh, this is ninth, ninth chapter, I actually one to the 10th chapter. And now, um, this is so good in here, too. I'm going to read this and I'm going to jump to the next one. And now he's trying to run for the president of the United States of America, which he's totally unqualified, uh, unqualified for, just like Donald Trump. But let me read this, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 16. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is, necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. And see now, um, you know, Kanye West, he's preaching the, the gospel of wickedness, you know, through um, this vain glory. You know, he, he's trying to, he said, he, spoke, he said, I have nothing to glory of, but he's glorying in himself. He's glorying in his music. But, uh, you know, he's not really giving glory to the Heavenly Father, even with his statement, because I believe through the spirit, Kanye might know the name of the Lord. He knows he's an Israelite. OK, uh, so he, how much more is he hiding of he if he doesn't speak on that? OK, it says, uh, what was unto me if I preach not the gospel? And so what? He's giving up the gospel now to do a presidential race, even though he's not preaching the gospel anyway. But he's supposed to be on the forefront of this Christianity movement with this music. Right. So if he's giving that up to go into a presidency. He's the, the, he will have the people to believe that he's doing something greater than himself. But we all know that the greatest calling um, is serving you how about Shemiah Shai. OK, and I just thought of like two other precepts. Lord, will not get them. Um, it says for I do, for if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. What is my reward then? Verily, that I, when I preach the gospel, I may, I may make the gospel of the Mo, of the Hamashiach without charge that I abuse not my power in the gospel. You know, so we we do this willingly. So that and he says we're gonna have a reward. Okay, we're gonna have a reward in Yahweh from Yahshai. Okay, so but these people are not gonna have a reward in Yahweh from Yahshai because they're too focused on. 
the ways of this society and being in tune with these people, okay, in this world, with Babylon. This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 21. It says, um, ye cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partaker of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Okay, so you, you can't be, uh, the Lord isn't about that. You can't serve mammon and the most high. You can't serve Babylon and be in tune with the spirit. Okay, he said you can't drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. And see, that's what Kanye West is doing. He's drinking the cup of devils by trying to be a politician. You know, if he already wasn't on level 10 wickedness, he's trying to upgrade. He's trying to upgrade through the wickedness chain, man. And he's drinking. He's trying to drink the cup of devils. And see, he can't even drink the cup of Lord, but he'll have the people thinking that that's the reason, uh, to get the job done. Right. It says um, you cannot you cannot part, be partakers of the Lord's.